Yeah, thanks to all the posters contestants. We also want to give a hand to Lim Tian, right? To say a few words. Few words, a few words. Lim Tian. Lim Tian. Lim Tian. Gilbert, thank you. Uh, this is uh, unexpected. I, I, I am not a scheduled speaker, but it is wonderful to see so many of you at Hong Lim Park today. And this morning, I put up a poster on my Facebook asking people to come, and uh, I thank all of you for, you know, uh, obliging me. But this is a very important topic. Seika and the 6.9 million population. It is not even 6.9 million population now. It is 10 million, you know? The, the preordained next PAP leader, when he opened his mouth, the first two sentences he said was, yes, to a 10 million population. And he was endorsing what Liu Taiker was saying. And secondly, that Singaporeans must welcome foreigners and that we must integrate with them. I think, I think he's got the order the other way around, don't you think? And when this Ramesh incident happened a week ago, I made a post which was very well received. And what occurred to me then was this. You know, I was a student in England in 1985 to 1991. And in 1986, around 1986, 1987, there was a very famous incident in Britain. This city, just outside of Manchester, called Bradford, it has got a huge Asian community mainly from the Indian subcontinent. And they started agitating for their community schools to teach in Urdu. And they started agitating for subjects to be taught in the schools which they say, which they said would respect their cultural identity. And you know who was the British Prime Minister in those days? It was the Iron Lady, Margaret Thatcher. And I never forgot what she said. She got up and she told these people, you have chosen on your own free will to come into this country to live. And you, we expect you to learn English and you better adopt the English way of life. And I think it is not unreasonable when we expect foreigners who come to live and settle and work in our country to respect our ways of life and to adopt our way of life. And it is not the other way around. All right, so I tell the PAP it's not the other way around. All right? You better start respecting Singapore citizens first before you tell us to respect others. And I have been talking about our crazy immigration policies now for four years. Crazy. It is a crazy policy. You know, in the 1980s, which I always think of as Singapore's golden era, because that was when we really developed and, you know, uh, we became richer and we were the envy of uh, Asia. Um, Singaporeans had lots of jobs, lots of jobs. And it saddens me today when I read about all the instances of PMETs losing jobs to foreigners. Not, not only is the immigration policy crazy, but the labor policies are crazy as well. All right. The labor policies are crazy. And the worst thing is, the PAP have a thing called the Fair Consideration Framework for Employment. But do you know, do you know that SECA is not even subject to the Fair Consideration Framework? 
All right, I have said enough. Supposed to be only a few words, but thank you very much. Okay, let's wave the flag together, Lim Tian. Come. Say no. To Sika. Say no. To Six by Nine. Say no. To PAP. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Lim. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much, right, Mr. Lim. Right, support this party, huh? uh, People's Voice.